My name is Allison Kelberg, and the article I chose to read was titled Heavy Alcohol Use Changes Adolescents' Brains. A study was performed by the University of Eastern Finland that has been conducted over 10 years. It consisted of taking magnetic resonance imaging, or MRIs, of otherwise healthy young adults who are also heavy drinkers throughout their adolescent years and aged matched control participants who only use alcohol lightly. At the beginning, the participants were 13 to 18 years old and participated in cross-sectional studies that were conducted in 2005, 2010, and 2015. They were academically successful and mental health issues were not a variable in the study. The heavy drinking participants consumed 6 to 9 units a week for 10 years with no diagnosed alcohol abuse disorder. The MRI showed significant differences between the two groups. The heavy drinking participants had decreased gray matter volume in the anterior cingulate cortex and in the right insula. PhD student Nora Heikinen, the first author of the study, says, The maturation of the brain is still ongoing in adolescence and especially in the frontal areas and the cingulate cortex develop until the 20s. Our findings strongly indicate that heavy alcohol use may disrupt this maturation process. The functions of the cingulate cortex include impulse control, which is affected by volumetric changes and play a part in substance abuse disorder later in life. In the insula, structural changes can reflect reduced sensitivity to alcohol's subjective effects and therefore contribute to the development of alcohol or substance use disorders. This study also suggests that if there is screening in place for adolescents, early intervention is key and some volumetric changes may be reversible if alcohol consumption is significantly reduced. I personally found this article very interesting because I have always wondered what the ramifications are for heavy drinking throughout adolescence. I hope that other young people will read this study and see that there are actual biological functions that are decreased as they drink heavily throughout adolescence in conjunction with the behavioral issues that follow heavy drinking.